Hey there, in this video we dive deep into some game mechanics and why they are an absolute must to know. A patron of mine asked me about a glow effect in Hammer Watch and how to clone it. That is actually a really good question, because a lot of pixel art games use these mechanics to create some gorgeous effects. Hammer Watch. That is the game you are seeing right now. To give you the short answer what a light and glows can do. Look at the game right now. The lights and glows are all turned off. Still a decent looking game. And now we turn them on. And this is like night and day, it simply looks superior. The blending of colors and the atmospheric props like the torch are the highlights here. You also see splashing things flying around. These are particles. Uh, if you don't know anything about particles, head over to my other video Basics Particles Essential Game Magic. So how do you make such glowing things? Are these simple images overlapping? Is that a light engine at work? Or is that already some shader magic? Well. All can be answered with yes and no. Let's start with a simple glow effect. Here you see a simple soldier sprite. You can use Photoshop or GIMP to give your image an outline or outer glow. This method is easy to do, but is only a good option if you don't use too many images. Just imagine 15 enemy sprites with each 5 states and that have 6 sprites each. 450 edits to do, not practical for a game with a large scale. How can this be circumvented? A lot of games use a radial glow that is behind the sprite to use. You basically use an image like this and give it a soft alpha value. This can be done by a short edit to the draw event. To make this effect even slicker, you can animate the drawing of the glow by changing the X and Y scale. These fake lights already look pretty neat. So there is no need for a light engine to use, right? Fake lights or glows have a limit. They look flat and don't give the illusion that it makes an area brighter. So we do need a light engine. I have good news and bad news. First, the bad ones. Game Maker has no light engine like Unity and Unreal Engine and so on. Good news that there is a way to emulate light. In this case, you have to use a surface and that is something that will make a lot of problems if not set up correctly. They have the awesome habit of not always working. Imagine a surface, like an overlay, top layer or paper that you place all over things on the screen. Every step you set the surface to be something blackish and then you poke holes with your light gradients. And that is not the only thing you can do with it. You can also use it to paint over it. What would you paint on it? Easy, all the stuff that once was an object like litter, slime, blood, rubble and so on. See here. Very efficient, because you just draw the stuff you don't need anymore on the surface. I will make a basic video what surfaces are and following that a surface light video plus a blood rubble and surface example that enhances every game. Last but not least shaders, the big one, the mother of pixel match. To illustrate what a shader actually does, look at the image. I used a google search for hammer watch and got this result. You see three different versions of a part of a level. Looking at it once, you may think that they are using three different tile sets. One for the summer scene, one for the autumn scene and one for the night scene. You get the point. As a matter of fact, this is only one tile set. The first two use a fragment shader, also called pixel shader, to make this appear that they are different. The third uses a very dark surface to make it a night scene. Shaders are used to manipulate the graphics directly. Their prime usage is to distort color and shape. Good examples are simulations of lava when the screen seems to be liquid. Or when you exit a level and everything gets pixelated. Or a simple thing when you need to outline all objects of a layer with a gradient. Hope that it was informative. For beginners I would recommend using a simple glow method or surfaces. If you are already very comfortable with programming in GameMaker, well, shaders are a must to one up your game. Let me know what you think in the comment section, rate, comment and subscribe if you like or dislike that content and follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. Subscribing is also nice, but commenting even better. Have a good one, one up indie.